Hey, welcome to the uh, online training class for QuickBooks Web Connector integration. Uh, excuse me, QuickBooks Desktop integration using the Web Connector. Let's talk at a very, very high level about what the QuickBooks Web Connector is and how it provides integration to QuickBooks Desktop. So let's take a look at this here. And this is QuickBooks Desktop here and it runs on Windows. It's a Windows application. The QuickBooks Web Connector, it's like another program in and of itself. You could call it like an agent. And it would talk to your web app server. So the case you're in, if you have a web application, uh, the QuickBooks Web Connector is for if you have a web application and you wanted to talk to QuickBooks Desktop. If you have a Windows application, you would want to look at uh, talking right to uh, direct com objects, okay? And uh, you can search for what that means exactly. But what my point is is that the use case you should be here landing uh, on this training course is if uh, you have a web app and you wanted to integrate it with QuickBooks Desktop, okay? So that web app server that you have, that your company has, that you are interested in integrating, that goes out the browsers, right? And within your web app server, you're going to build what's called a SOAP server. And the QB web connector is what's called a SOAP client. SOAP is an acronym for Simple Object Access, uh, Simple Object Access Protocol. <laughs> and uh, basically what it means is it sends text back and forth uh, so you can integrate two systems uh, without any sort of uh, across many different operating systems since it's only text you just read and parse the text um, so the QuickBooks web connector is this SOAP client all right you are going to integrate a SOAP server to talk to QuickBooks desktop the QuickBooks web connector um, there's a a thing called an application file that you would have to set up that will be another video um, but then that gives the right information and URL for connecting to the SOAP server and some other parameters every two minutes by default the QuickBooks web connector kicks up and goes to ask the SOAP server if it has anything for it to do you would make a queue on your SOAP server with different things for the web connector to do. Let's just say you wanted to know if payments in QuickBooks Desktop, if the user has, has now put them in deposited funds, you put, you, your, your app, puts something on the queue asking to query the desktop for the payments to get their, what account they're on. Uh, undeposited or deposited funds. If you wanted to make a customer on the queue, you put it there. On the two minute run, it goes and gets that customer. You define that customer, it runs on QBC, and if it's, it's successful, it makes a customer here. Okay, that gives you a high level overview of what the QuickBooks Web Connector does and how it works at that um, sort of a thousand foot view.